Hey, how you doing? This is me, Mad Rod, the Mad One. Just giving you a little tour today of my humble little abode, also known as the Hole in the Wall. And we're going into the Hole in the Wall now, which is my little getaway. Got a little bit of everything in here. Ooh. There is some of my parts from my current or recent upgrade to my Stage Master. Hung on to the originals just because you know how it goes. You don't want to get rid of anything. And my hand-me-down furniture. And, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This is my Eminence. Rainmaker and Maverick speaker that I am going to be switching uh, to my crate. This bottom amp here. That's my crate uh, 212 amp. It's got old dinosaur speakers in it that it's time to replace them. Uh, some of my gear while I'm here. My RP1000. And here's my 505, the favorite pedal of mine is the 505-2 by Zoom. Another one I'm really having a lot of fun with is this Lyra pedal. According to everything I found, there's only a thousand of them made. I picked up uh, three of them just because they were hard to find. Yeah, one of them's going to a special place, so somebody may end up with it as part of a uh, contest giveaway. Who knows? And then, of course, there is my Digitech Looper. A lot of fun. Got some uh, good drum beats in there. And special recording options. Okay. Hey, do you hear somebody? Yeah, sounds like. Oh, look at there. TTK, the Tone King. Yeah, he's fun to watch. A lot of good info on his demos. If you haven't checked him out, you should. Alright, let's zoom back out. Two wings, two okay, so you've seen eminent speakers, strange pen and ink drawing, which I seen pen and ink before, but not like this one. This is extremely detailed. I'm not even sure who it's by. Oh, there we go. So, maybe this is a famous guy, maybe it's not. I have no clue, but I really dig the picture. So much detail in it. Alright. So, now we'll zoom back out. This guitar is the guitar I got on eBay auction. As an auction for charity held by Ron Keel of the rock band Keel from the 80s and uh, a few other bands he was in. And this is going to be a little hard to see, but backlighting. It's basically saying, hey, that's genuine. He used it on tour from 2009 to 2011. In a uh, concert in the U.S. and in Europe while he was on uh, tour for the Streets of Rock and Roll album. Uh, of course, there's his signature. Now, Ron did, at my request, sign the back of the headstock. Now, some of you might not know who he is, but I tell you what, Ron Keel is a hell of a guy. Did a heck of a lot of charity work. And uh, just great person, great personality. One of those few people in this world that I would not mind meeting. Here's my Fender Stage Master. 
which I recently changed out the uh, pickups in it, which is a whole nother story. You can find the Stage Master upgrade info on uh, the tonekingcom in the forum. I have a post in there about it. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, I did end up with one extra hole in the guitar pick guard, which you may find interesting. I kind of went nuts with the stickers. I don't know if you can really see the effect. Get off to the side here, you can see. I, w I went nuts. I put little stickers, hand cut round stickers everywhere. But I'll give you a hint as to where that hole was. All right, there. That's where that extra hole was. Oh, there you go. Maybe. It's reflective tape I used. And just cut them out into circles. It's kind of cool. Anyway, that was a, the upgrade I did on it. I'm thinking about doing a demo. Not sure yet. If I want to go that route. May or may not. Anyway, yeah, that was passive to active pickups. Uh, EMGs. What I had in there was a stock pickups from... I'm going to guess this guitar was originally built in like 92. And it was time for an upgrade. Okay, here's my favorite guitar. This is my TTK-1, which subsequently the Tone King is doing a demo on YouTube right now. Yep. Bad Boy Crown at the 12th fret. There it is. Alright, let's go up to the headstock. BC Rich. Just a bad guitar. And it's an import, but tell you what, it's got a pretty good tone for basically generic pickups. And they're passive, but they're cool. A really nice guitar. Okay, zoom back out. Oh, uh, my Angry Birds poster. My great niece gave me that. So I had to put it up, you know, keep the great niece happy. Uh, I like that uh, TTK1 so much for BC Rich, and that was the first BC Rich I ever owned that I actually went and got another one. This is a uh, second generation Kerry King V with active pickups. It's an import, but still not too shabby. Does the trick. Plus, I dig the headstock. That's badass. And then there's my Jackson V. And you notice a theme here. All of my guitars have a tremolo. I am one of these people, I want the most for my money. I want tone, I want options at a good price. Now I may not use the tremolos all that often, but if I choose to, I know it's there. Tremolo, tremolo, and yes, this one is hanging on the wall, but I do play it. Which some people would say was sacrilege because it belonged to Ron Keel, but I even told Ron I was playing it. The only thing I did to it is I don't know what it is with altitude or maybe conditions overseas, but his guitar tech really had uh, the pickups tweaked out and everything else, and I had to get it back into what I consider a playable condition. But uh, yeah, I still play it. So, uh, oh yeah, there's my uh, Joe Satriani 212 JSX badass amp. So, that's not getting an upgrade. I'm not making any changes to that one at all. But, that one, my crate, 
is getting a speaker upgrade. Now, Tone King is going to be messing with some of the same speakers, and he'll probably be doing demos and stuff. So, realistically, I'm not really going to do any demos on that. I'm going to let him do it because he's good at it. All right. So, and there's the TV, the Xbox 360, Blu-ray player, a GameCube with the extension pack on the bottom of it, which allows me to play, uh, you know, the Game Boy games, so forth. Next to that is my PS2, which eventually I'll get a PS3. And then my regular Xbox, because most of my Xbox games will not play on Xbox 360, even with a stupid patch, which really torques my jaws, but oh well. And all my controllers. I've got a few extra in case people want to come over and play. Oh, so yeah, crappy hand me down my couch. Uh, steering wheel controllers, some extra Polk Audio speakers that where I used to live I actually had mounted to the walls. Uh, pretty badass. And oh, my guitar videos, books, uh, manuals, DVDs, so forth. And a whole bunch of uh, game strategy guides because, you know, I hate getting stuck on games and not know what to do. So, yeah, I would just as soon have the strategy guide even if I don't use it. I know it's there in case I do get stuck. Hey, one more look at the crap from the Stage Master, the original crap. And I think that pretty much does it for our tour. So, hope you've enjoyed our little walkthrough of my hole in the wall and we'll see you again on the next video all right have a good one bye leave you with that right there Ooh, that's bad